So in this video, I will calculate, the, I'll try to calculate the neutral voltage or the neutral voltage shift using uh, KCL rather than uh, using mesh currents. So again, just kind of re, uh, a reminder. So this is what we have this in our example. So we have unbalanced three wire, Y connected load. And here are kind of the quantities. So in this case, what we are after, so in the previous uh, video, I calculated, I used mesh currents, but in this case, we just want to calculate the neutral shift. So, so I'm showing this slide here just from use, calculating the neutral shift using mesh currents. So this is what we came up with. So, so the voltage shift was 50.0002 volts with an angle of negative 56.4 volts. So we came up with that using mesh current method. So now we're going to use KCL. So what I'm going to do here So I'm going to do KCL around this node here. So, so if I do KCL, I'll just say at N, lowercase N, just for simplicity. So then, you know, the voltage, again, I am not going to call it in because if you remember from the previous video, uh, when I showed the neutral displacement using mesh currents, I kind of I drew the delta or the triangle. So we said under balance conditions, the neutral will be at the center of the triangle. So lowercase n. So this is the phase voltages. So if we call that A, then this is B. C. So if everything is balanced, the magnitudes will be the same and, and the phasers will be displaced by 120 degrees. However, since we have unbalanced situation here, the neutral will no longer be at the center of this triangle. So it's going to shift somewhere, you know, and I'm just picking an arbitrary location because it depends on, on the unbalance and everything. And what, instead of calling it N prime, or I'm going to call it O. So that's what I mean by neutral shift. So it's going to shift, you know, then now the voltages, the phase voltages will no longer be A to N. It will be, they will be A to O. So something like that. So as you can see, they no longer are bounds. So I'm just going to get the red pen back. Okay. So to to avoid any confusion, I'm going to call the neutral the new the neutral shift as O instead of N, just to avoid any confusion. So the voltage, so it will be the voltage from A to here minus so kcl because a so or we can say actually let's just do this so the kcl is just the sum of the currents basically and since there is no neutral so the sum will be zero basically and what is ia is this voltage here v a n minus v v o n so i a is v i n minus v o n divide by the total impedance which is z a plus z a so basically i'm doing so the 
current you know voltage from a to n minus you know i'm not showing o but it's there you know so that this is just ia now i'm going to do the same thing for ib so if ib it's v b n minus v o n divided by z b plus z b so i'm going to do the same thing for ic so so v b b n minus v o n divided by ZC plus ZC equal zero. So as you can see, I have VON here, I have it here, I have it here. So what I will do, I'll just like simple algebra basically. So VAN divided by ZA plus ZA minus VON divided by z z a plus z a plus v b n divided by z b plus z b minus v o n divided by z b plus z b oops v n plus v b n Sorry, C, this should be C. So CN divided by Z, C plus Z, C minus VON divided by Z, C plus Z, C equals zero. So then what I can do, I can, since I have negative sign here, so I have three of these terms here, I can move them to the other side. So then basically what I get, I can factor VON, you know, so it's uh, divided by one over Z A plus Z A plus one over Z B plus Z B plus one over Z C plus Z C equals V A N divided by Z A plus Z A plus, I don't have a room, so sorry about that. So I'm just gonna come over here and continue basically, plus V B N divided by Z B plus Z B plus V C N divided by Z C plus Z C. So then, if I want just VON, so VON is equal to this quantity here divided by this quantity. So I know VAN, VBN, VCN, I know ZA, ZA, ZB, ZB, ZC. So I know it, all the quantities basically then I just plug in the numbers. Just keep in mind, you know, when you calculate, so we have VAB, VAN will be 480 divided by root three. So 480 divided by root three to get the line to neutral voltage. But then the line to neutral voltage will lag by 30 degrees. So zero minus 30 degrees so it's just uh, 277 
minus 30 degrees. Then if I do the same thing for VBC, so VBN is 480 divided by root 3, which is just 277, uh, negative 120 degrees, but I know there is a 30 degree phase shift, so I get 277 negative 150 degrees. So if I do the same thing for VCA, so VCN is 480 divided by root 3, which is 277. I have 120, but I have to subtract 30 degrees because of the phase shift. So I get 277 with an angle of 90 degrees. So that's what I got these values here. So if I carry out the calculation, I get 50.07 volts with an angle of negative 56.33, which is very close to the value that I got using mesh currents. But the bottom line is when you have a, a neutral that's not a grounded and under balance and balance conditions, that neutral voltage will not be zero. So it's going to shift. And, and if you take, uh, let's see, and basically, if you draw, if you draw, if you had to draw these voltages here, you know, that neutral will not be at the center like, like I showed here. So it's going to shift basically. So that's what, what we mean by neutral shift or neutral displacement and their unbalanced conditions. Uh, if you don't have a, uh, if the neutral is not grounded or if the neutral was there, but somehow it became disconnected. So thank you and have a great day.